With Firebase in Flutter you can create messaging apps and here we want to create this messaging app with the reply function. And like you can see in this video you can reply to any messages and this is what we want to build in this video. So let's get started. In the last tutorial we have created this chat application where we can write with others and they can also write with us. So I can for example write here now and I write him simply back. Um, however, if I now swipe here or something then the reply function is not working and this is what we want to implement right now. Therefore we go here to the chat page and this is exactly this page which you see here on the right side. And here we simply create a reply message and there we want to save our reply message to which we reply later inside. But first of all we want to build a swipe for the messages. So let's look at the messages and here you see if we swipe here then it is opening up. And this is what we want to build. And therefore we go here in our chat page to the messages widget. And here are basically all the messages stored inside. And if we go down you see here our message widget which is this widget here. And around it we build here a new widget which is called swipe2. And this comes from this swipe to plugin, which I have put here inside under our dependencies. And with this widget we can basically detect here the swiping and we can detect if it's swiping to the right side or to the left side. And in this case we want to detect if it is swiping to the right side. And you see it's already here inside the functionality. But we also want to do something on the swipe, so basically we will create here a new function. And we also put here our message inside which was swiped and now we go here to the top and create this field so that we can access it later. Back in our chat page we have then to implement this method and here we get the message which was swiped. And here what we want to do is we want to reply to this message and we put this message here inside. And this method reply to message is pretty simple. We simply overwrite reply message which we have created in the beginning. And now our message is stored which is swiped. And what we also want to do is we want to get the focus of this text field. And then we want to show here the message on top of it. And what we do therefore is to create here at the top a new field. And this is our focus node. So we want to get the focus of this text field. And therefore we wire this up with our text field. So actually we need to put it here into our text field. And this is exactly here. So let's put it inside. And also we put it here inside. And now we need to go here to the bottom and find our text field. And here inside we put our focus node so that we can access this text field later. So let's go back to the chat page. And now every time if we swipe here we reply to the message. But we also want to get here the focus. So simply we call your focus node request focus and then it gets us the focus of this text field. So let's try this out. So here I'm back and if I now swipe here you see that this text field gets the focus and then we can start typing our message. And now we also have this message here inside of our reply message attribute. And now it's the time to show it here on top of our current text field. So let's look at the example what we want to build. So basically we have here the username to which we reply. Then we have his message and we also can cancel it. And like you can see the text field is also looking a little bit different than right now. So the first thing is we go here into our new message widget. So we go here inside of this input text field and here inside we create two fields. So first of all we want to put here the reply message and also a callback for cancelling the reply. And this callback is later for this X here which you see so that we can cancel our reply. Back in our chat page we put then these two things again inside and we also want to build the cancel reply. And this is pretty easy. We simply create a new method and here inside we set our reply message to null. So if we reply to a message then we set it actually to the message and otherwise if we cancel the reply we set it again to the null value so we don't have any message here. And that's basically about the main functionality of this reply message and now we need to build the widget. And therefore we go back to our new message widget. And then we go to our build method and wrap our text field around a column. Because on top of the text field we want to show this reply message. 
And then we create here at the top a new field is replying and we simply check if we have a reply message and if that's the case then we want to build it here at the top the reply message. So we go to our column and here inside we check if it's replying and then we want to simply build this reply. Inside of the build reply method we put first of all a new widget inside. So we create here a reply message widget and we put here our reply inside and also our on cancel reply so that we can both handle these. And we also want to decorate this widget a bit. So we put here a new container around with the decoration and here we put a color of gray inside. So this is basically the background color of our reply. It's a kind of gray color. And we also put here a radius inside. So we want to put here a radius for the top left corner and for the top right corner. So this is basically here at the top. You see we have here corner and also here at the top right corner. And I have used here these two fields, input top radius and input bottom radius. And here we have these fields. And then we need to create this reply message widget. And here inside we put first of all the message and the on cancel reply inside. And now we create actually this widget. So we create here a new method, build reply message. And here inside we basically put a column and a row. And then we want to build in this row here the username and also this X first of all. And this is what we do right now. So we put here text for the username inside and we get it from our message attribute. So our message itself has here many attributes and here we have the message, the username and so on. And if you want to have more details about this, then have a look at the last video which I have made about the Firebase chat application. And next to the text we have then here an expanded. So we want to expand the text and then we want to show this X at the end. So we show here our gesture detector and here we put our icon close inside and we also put here this on cancel reply inside. So if we click on this cancel item then it should actually cancel this reply. Now that we have built this username and the X, we want to build here the description and also this green thing on the left side. So let's go here after our row and still inside of our column, we build here some space and then we build here the description or our message which we reply to. And yeah, that's basically it. So we have here the reply message and we also want to build this green thing before. So what we do is we have here an intrinsic height before our row. And then we basically set here the container with a width of four and the color of green. And now what is happening that we have then this green bar at the left side also. And let's try this right now out. So if I now swipe here to the right side, you see we have here all this thing what we have built. So we have here the username, the X, and even if we click here on it, it is removing because we have put our ca on cancel on reply here inside and yeah, it looks already pretty good, but our text field is not all right and that's what we want to change. So if you remember the text field here looks a little bit different, so it matches more to the design. And therefore we go here to our new messages widget and here to the top to our text field. And this is our text field here on the right side. And here we simply remove our outline border. We don't want to have it. So if I now hot reload, it looks like this. And it's a little bit more closer to what we want to accomplish here. And then we build here in our decoration an outline input border. And here we set the border to none. And if you reload it, you see that we have no border anymore. And now we also want to decorate it a bit. So what we want to set here is the decoration. And therefore I will simply go here away from this reply feature right now. And we want to make it here at the top rounded and also at the bottom. So what we do here is we set the top left corner. And if this replying is activated, we want to have it like right now, there shouldn't be any corner. And therefore we set here the radius to zero. And if we are not replying, then it should be rounded. And we simply put here some radius inside. And we do the same thing for the top right corner, so exactly the same stuff. And we also set here the bottom left corner and also the bottom right corner. And this will be every time rounded, no matter if we are replying or not. And now you see that we have here the change, so it's already rounded. And 
if we reply to this one, then you see that this here at the top will change and it will not be rounded anymore, like you can see right now. And yeah, we also have here every time this text, that's not what we want to have, therefore I simply exchanged the label text with the hint text. And now it looks much better, we have here every time this hint text, and if you then write here something, then it will disappear again. Alright, we have accomplished a lot right now, and if you look at the design, we have accomplished the design already of this reply box. However, right now, if I type here anything, and type here the message, and click here on send, you see, okay, there's nothing happening. So we have here only hello, but the reply feature is ignored. And this has many reasons. And the first one is that we also need to say to the server, okay, we have your reply message and that's what we need to build right now. Therefore, we go here to our Firebase API. And in the last video, we wrote here this method upload message, where we upload a message to Firebase. And then we have here this message object, which we want to change. So we want to add here a field for the reply message. And it's pretty simple, we simply add here this reply message. We also add it to the constructor and we also add it to the from JSON and to JSON. And here inside we basically put it to JSON if we have the reply message. And here also if we have the reply message got back from Firebase, then we actually create this message object out of this raw data from Firebase. So let's go back to our API. And now you see that we have here this error because he wants to get the reply message also. So we simply add here the reply message and we also add it here after our message that we put here the reply message inside. And now we look at where this method is used and it's used in this position. So it's in our new message widget. And yeah, this is basically every time if we type here something and press on the send, then it is uploaded to Firebase. And luckily we already have the our reply message inside as an object and we simply put it here inside. And now everything should work fine, so we can try this out. So actually I will take this here, hello Tim, and I write a message and let's write a new one. So hello world Tim, or Barrick better to say. And now if I send this message, you will see that here is no change, but on the server there will be changed something. So let's hot restart our console and look at the representation of our server. And here we have the chats and the messages. And now we need to find here the right message. And now you see that we have here our message and here the reply message is still null. So I guess we made a mistake right now. So let's have a look at the code. And basically the issue was that I forgot to hot restart this application. So make sure that you hot restart the application. And now you see that we have here a message, hello Tim White, which I also wrote. And here we have our reply message inside. So basically I tried to reply to this message here, hello world barrack. And then you see here this reply message, hello world barrack here inside. So from this point, everything worked. Now we need to care about the functionality inside of our app that everything works here also and that the reply message is shown here correctly on top of our widget. But before, let's go quickly back to our new message widget and here where we called the send message to our Firebase API, we also want to actually hide here this reply message because this is every time showing even if we press here on send and therefore we simply call here our method widget on cancel reply and this then will set here in our chat page this reply message again to null. And now if I simply type you something and press on send, you will see that the reply message is also going away again. All right, and now we need to actually go to our messages. So I go here to our messages widget and here inside we have all of our messages and this message is right now what we want to change. So we go here down and here we have this build message where we simply put our text message inside and we want to build right now a reply message on top of it. So it should look like this here that we have here also the username and the message and this and you see it, it looks almost like the same like this here, only we have no cancel item here at the top and therefore we can reuse this widget which we have 
used already here and this makes it more easier. So what we do right now is to simply remove here the style and also the text align of this text widget. And we also can move this text widget here out. So we create here at the top this new message widget. And now we have here two cases. And then we have here this first case. So we test if our message has no reply message. And if that's the case, we simply return here our message because we don't want to build the reply message. Otherwise, if we have a reply message, then we want to build here on top of it this reply widget. And therefore we have here our column. So we put it here into the else case. And here inside we create then the build reply message, which will be shown here on the top. And then we show here the message widget. So this will be our simple text. And now we build here this build reply message and it's pretty simple. So we create here this method and inside we get first of all the reply message from our message object. And then we test if we have a reply message. And if it's not the case, then we simply want to show nothing because if we don't have a reply message like this one, for example, then there is nothing on top. And otherwise, if we have a reply message, then we build here a container and we also set here some margin and then we put here this reply message widget inside. And now if I hot restart, you see that we have here our reply message widget on top of our message and it looks already pretty good. So we have here every time our reply message and we also can reply to someone. Now we want to fine tune this design here on the right side. So like you can see, we have here two less space for the message and that's what we want to change right now. And it's pretty simple. We go here to the top and here you see the constraints and we have set here this to max width of 140 in the last video. And that's what we want to change right now. So first of all, we want to get the width of the whole screen. And therefore we get here the media query of context and get here the width. And now we want to build here our max width of this widget depending on the max width of our screen size. So instead of this fixed size, we put here this dynamic size inside. And now if I hot reload, you see that this takes 75% of the screen width. And this is what we define here inside. And by the way, if you want to get the source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient Flutter developer. If you look here to the final design, we see that the message is here every time aligned to the left side. And right now we have it here aligned to the right side. That's what we want to change. So inside of our build message, we put here next to our is me in our column also this one here. So we check if the reply message is null and if there is no reply message, we every time put it here to the right side, this message. And if we have a reply message, then we put it here to the start. So we put it here to the beginning of the widget. And now if I hot reload, you see that it is changed. And every time if we have this reply message, it's going here to the left side. And I guess that's it for the tutorial. So everything is working here fine. So you can write a normal message. You can also take here a message and write here something and reply to it. And then you can also send it to the server and he will store this message. And you can also do it with other messages from other users. So we can change our user. So let's take for example, Karen Black. And now I hot restart this application. And now I simply write to, for example, Barack Obama, I write him a message. Hey, what's going on? And now we simply change the user again. So I change it right now to Barack and I hot restart it. And now we see here the message on the left side and you can also reply to it. So hello. And then you can write to the other user back. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.